Good morning, everyone. This is Cassie Stumo. I am the marketing specialist here at EAC. We will begin today's session with an introduction of EAC, and then Dmitry Slavkovic from PTC will be presenting to us on how you can improve operational performance in real time uh, by using PTC's ThingWorks software. Everyone gets a recording of the session pending any technical difficulties. Um, so please feel free to ask questions along the way and we'll answer them after the presentation. Okay, so for those of you who do not know who we are, I'll start off with a quick intro. Our mission is to transform the way companies design, manufacture, connect to, and service their products. We are not only a value-added reseller for PTC, but we are the number one solutions provider for PTC in the country, something EAC is very proud of. We have experts in 22 areas of product development and are located all over the US with our headquarters in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Thanks, Dimitri. Um, we offer our customers everything they need for product development, such as CreoCAD software for product design, uh, service lifecycle management software for managing service documentation, and software that helps you manage your product data, such as uh, Windchill, ThingWorks Navigate, and our customizable EAC productivity apps. We implement the Internet of Things and augmented reality into business strategies to jumpstart initiatives around digital transformation and connecting all things in your company. Um, we assist with design and engineering projects like FEA, simulation, um, reverse engineering, and proof of concepts uh, for our customers. And we offer uh, webinars and PTC certified training courses for continuous learning. Um, we're also a commercial reseller for Form Labs, offering their latest products in additive manufacturing. The Form 3 is now available with packages starting at $34.99. Uh, so please keep us in mind. Um, we have solutions to help your organization save time and money uh, throughout the product development process. Um, so thank you for taking the time to listen to who we are. I'll hand it over to Dimitri so he can get started. All right, so welcome everybody. Um, today we'll be going through ThingWorks manufacturing, so smart connected operations space. And so we'll start off with a few slides and then what I'll do is I'll actually go in and show you what one of these applications, one of these IoT applications might look like. So we'll start with some challenges, uh, several common challenges that customers are facing as they're entering the space. So first, operational machine data are often not available because it's hidden and disconnected in siloed systems. It's then difficult or impossible to make sense of this data because it comes in so many different formats. And then because of this, reports are delivered after they could have been most useful. And then there are the infrastructure and IT challenges. So there's no interoperability between existing systems, applications, and servers. Existing systems are single purpose and non-extensible. And then delivery of information on mobile devices like smartphones and tablets is out of the question. Equipment maintenance and operations can also be expensive. So without data visibility and predictive analytics, maintenance is reactive, or at best must be scheduled whether or not it's actually necessary. Maintenance engineers often have limited insight into the root cause. And then unplanned downtime means that all those operational KPIs do take a hit. And so PTC solution is ThingWorks, and ThingWorks aims to solve these challenges as the leading industrial IoT platform by offering industrial connectivity, rapid application development, pre-built role-specific applications, an extensive partner network, as well as deep relationships with Microsoft and Rockwell Automation. And so we'll go through some of the capabilities that ThingWorks offers. So industrial connectivity, which is powered by Kepware, delivers the most complete solution for connecting industrial devices and systems. So it really enables users to connect, manage, and uh, monitor diverse automation devices and software applications through this one intuitive user interface. The Thing model is the key to this model-driven ThingWorks platform. So it provides a consistent representation of things to seamlessly tie together all the components of a solution. And so the Thing model really enables this rapid creation of an infinite number of IoT solutions that leverage bi-directional connectivity to these things. And so ThingWorks drag and drop mashup builder really allows developers and business users to create these interactive applications, uh, dashboards, as well as mobile interfaces without the need for coding. And it makes it easy to define alerts and orchestrate actions in response to them. 
ThingWorks also reduces the time and complexity in connecting to those other critical applications. And then ThingWorks brings together these disparate sources of operational data into one single pane of glass. So it provides stakeholders with real-time insight into the status of critical assets. It enables instant notification and alert by text, voice, and email. Important properties and characteristics are then monitored in real time and detailed data is made available for root cause analysis. And so the pre-built role-based ThingWorks manufacturing apps provide unprecedented speed and flexibility in gaining real-time insight into your manufacturing operations. These ThingWorks-based solutions are responsive for desktop as well as mobile deployment. And ThingWorks integrated analytics provides descriptive, predictive, as well as prescriptive analytics. So really allowing manufacturers to maximize the value of their data. And then only ThingWorks provides a seamless integration with augmented reality experiences. So further extending the use and value of the operational information. So now I'll go ahead and we'll jump in and show you guys what one of these applications might look like. All right, so what you guys are seeing here is a collection of user-specific apps created using ThingWorks to serve a variety of roles in manufacturing. So the company we created, Acme Tractor Corporation, this is a mashup for them, and you can see this is a corporate level view. And so ThingWorks was used here to normalize KPIs across all these different plants, and that's valuable because these plants may have different data sources or systems. So whether you know someone's using MES, uh, asset management, quality management, or so on, you are able to put those all together. And then ThingWorks easily connects to all those sources and abstracts away the complexity. So really giving you the ability to build an application, like we mentioned earlier, that acts as a single, plane of, a single pane of glass. So rather than having to get KPIs from multiple systems and make sense of them before deciding what to do, this can become your one-stop shop for information. And so in this example, the manufacturing VP can drill down into each of the regions on the left-handed side or to a specific plant to get normalized KPIs, contact info, and so on. But ThingWorks also easily ties into web services. So example of this is the, that the application is accessing the current weather at each location, as can be seen right here. But applications built in ThingWorks are not just for data visualization. So ThingWorks also provides an orchestration layer that is a means of running workflows or business actions. So for example, I can trigger or a uh, call or I could send a message. And then this can be automated and used for much more. So if an OEE drops below a certain percentage, we could have an alert trigger that would immediately call the correct people to find a re resolution to that problem. And ThingWorks can also easily connect to business systems as well as connected equipment, allowing workflows to be automatically initiated in service applications or for equipment operation uh, that could be stopped before damage is done. And so we're gonna go ahead here and select our Cincinnati plant. And then we're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of a closer look at this plant. So here we can see KPI specific to here. Different production lines are within the plant as well. And you can see in this spotlight line that it is going through each line. And so as it's cycling between the lines, we can select which line we like to view. And we can also see the metrics updating per line, such as shift progress, uptime, OEE, and total production. And so we can view KPI information based upon the assembly line area, and we can switch between final and sub-assembly uh, sub areas. And then down here in the time chart, we can easily filter. Maybe I just want to see the OEE. I can easily filter to take a look at that. And so next, we'll go ahead and take a look at KPI. So here, I'll retrieve our information for assembly line one. And so here we can see trend information, top utilization reasons, scrap, as well as rework reasons. Uh, we can also drip into tabular views of the data, so such as stats and trends, KPI hourly roll-ups, production, consumption, as well as line utilization. And then we can also export any of this information as a CSV file you can see on the right-handed side, so that maybe you wanna open this up in a spreadsheet if you choose to do so, you do have that ability. 
And then ThingWorks also provides hierarchical views of the relationship between objects. So if I go down here and select my 190 HP engine assembly, we can look at the subsystems and components that are produced as well as retrieve this genealogy of the consumed items. And so next we'll go ahead and take a look at our line view. So now that we can take a look into detailed views on the individual lines, so we can get information on shifts, KPIs, as well as produced um, items. And so the graphs here in the middle provide some analytical insight into the reasons for downtime, rework, as well as scrap. And so we can switch through any of these lines and get normalized information on each one. And this is a great time to emphasize that the applications developed in ThingWorks can be role-based, so driven by the access level of the user. So we can set this up so anyone responsible for line one, for example, will only see that line and nothing else. And this will help by only serving the right information to the right people that need it and restricts information from those who should not have access to it. Next, we have our schedule view. So with ThingWorks interconnectivity, operators have access to multiple production lines through the integration of MES systems. So by selecting a line, all the orders for that line are shown, including the status of each order. And with ThingWorks, we can easily change orders quickly and immediately, as well as input new orders, all from the same platform. So not only can we see this, but we can, if we choose, to create a production order, we can do it from this application. And so we'll go ahead and take a look at our final two tabs here. So first is maintenance. So this is allowing us to track any maintenance on the lines. And it's easy to check all the historical faults logged into ThingWorks connected system. So this could include information such as when the faults occurred, reasons for the fault, the duration, um, and all this package in an easily consumable view. And like the other screens, this is role-based as well. So only personal with access uh, writes to line one, can see that line's information. And so here I'll go ahead and select the counts tab and this provides a graphical view of faults so that you can see a nice breakdown of what is causing the most issues. And then the serve logistics tab, we can provide, uh, or we can prioritize the list of maintenance tasks. So for example, priority number one here is general maintenance of our automated guided vehicles. And then on the right here, ThingWorks also enables social media capabilities such as chats, blogs, and forums. So for example, this maintenance community allows people to connect on issues and information that's important to them. And under community participants tab, we can easily add or remove users just to ensure the right people are subscribed to the correct information. And finally here, we'll go ahead and take a look at our quality view. So our application should also include quality information so ThingWorks does have capability of connecting into quality management systems, as well as tracking back to engineering information. So here we are leveraging a CAD drawing to aid in this process. And we can also see which technician is responsible for the quality check, as well as the metrics associated with that check. So for example, we can see the inspection log, a list of results against a certain critical dimension. And here ThingWorks state-based formatting is being used to highlight that a cr critical dimension uh, here is out of tolerance. And so transforming your manufacturing operations by merging disparate systems doesn't have to be a logistical nightmare. So with ThingWorks, communication and sharing data is flawlessly executed to provide this seamless integrated platform for all your manufacturing processes and roles.